nothing better in you. Nuh-uh. Uh-huh. Uh, girls, I really need to practice for Cafe Cabaret. It's an evening of entertainment I host in the cafe. It's in a couple of days. Oh, we'll help you. Testing. <sighs> Ugh. How do you turn this thing on? We are live. Hit it, Sadie Bug. Very best friends forever. Ever, 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 ever. Give me that. <laughs> Very best friends for more ever. There was a king and queen, played by me and Blueberry. The king and queen were ready to retire to the tropics, but before departing, it was necessary to pick one of their three daughters to rule the kingdom. It all began one day as the princesses were playing croquet. Of course, they'll pick me. I'm the oldest. Well, you are the oldest, but that doesn't mean you are best fit to rule. The obvious choice is me. Oh, it's hot. I'm roasting out here. Sorry, Your Royal Highness. Is that better, Princess Vespolina? Cooler now, Your Royal Highness? Well, I am the prettiest. Therefore, it should stand to reason Mummy and Daddy will pick me. <laughs> Your turn, Strawberryta. Hurry up, little sister. Hmm. Oh, she's so slow. They'll never pick her. You're not so speedy yourself, Lemonella. Oh, la la, Berries! I've never heard such nonsense! Ooh. Well oh, done! You did! Oh, so oh. <laughs> Thank you. I think she cheated. My thoughts exactly! Lemonella, how can they be your thoughts when they were my thoughts and my thoughts first? Razbelina, just because you told me your thoughts first doesn't mean you thought them first. <laughs> You are such a dunderhead. Mummy and Daddy will never pick you to rule the kingdom. There is no other choice but me, because I am the choice that is best. <laughs> Sisters, please. <gasps> There's no need to fight. Our royal parents will make the best choice, and whichever of us they choose, the others of us will support. Are you a cuckoo berry? I've had enough of this. Let's go ask them now. There it is. The one and only, one of a kind, Wonderberry. Oh, isn't it the most very beautiful thing you've ever seen? Careful, Pupcake. This berry is going to be our dessert at the Berry Fest feast tomorrow. Look out! <laughs> Are you all right, Mary Kim Blue? Uh, uh, yes, uh, thank you, Miss Shortcake. Uh, had a little stumble, took a little tumble, as I was looking for. <sighs> but you found it. Oh, my, 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 yes, yes, yes. A fine specimen this year. About the biggest I've ever seen. Oh, the color so rich, the shape just so, that texture. Oh, amazing! Oh, and the aroma! Oh, yes! Perfect in every way! Oh, Custard, no. Yes, Pat, we must take care. There is but one of these delicious, nutritious berries at any given time. And how fitting that you, our new Berry Fest princess, should have found it. Found it? Found it? Who found it? Strawberry! Strawberry found it! Look at it! Isn't it something? Unbelievable! It's 
it's incredible! Oh, oh, oh yeah, now, now, you know the tradition. It's the berry fest princess who plucks the berry. Oh, I knew that. Didn't you know that? I wanted no, to see if you did. Yeah. Yeah. Princess Strawberry? I'd be honored. Mm. Mm. Uh. Oh, harder! You can do it, Come on, oh. Strawberry! Give it a good kick! Oh, that's it! Uh. At this moment, a new Wanderberry is springing up somewhere. Could it be here, or there, or there? We never ever know quite where. This thing's pretty heavy. It's going to take all of us working together to get it back. Is everyone ready? Ready! And the best part? We're a full day ahead of schedule! Oh, which means I have time tomorrow to sew up some fancy tablecloths. Mm -hmm. And I have time to pick out some great music. <laughs> <laughs> the ball is going to be so much fun! True, but there's still plenty of work to do tomorrow. Let's get some rest, and I'll see you here bright and early. <gasps> what in the world happened? The snacks are all gone! And the glow bugs flew away! Oh, and our streamers and tablecloths are all torn up! If this is a prank, it's not funny! Who could have done such a thing? I don't know, but this is really cozy! Oh, I could take a nap in here! This is no time for a nap! We have to start over! All that work we did. It'll be okay, Plum. We still have a whole day to put everything back in order. Sure. And I'll go round up some more glow bugs. What I want to know is who would do something so... so... mean? Well, nobody in Berry Bitty City. Exactly. So it must be an outsider. And I'm gonna find out who. And they will answer to the wrath of Plum. Could you please tell the glow bugs we're ready? Thank you! When things aren't looking up And it seems you're out of luck Just think behind the clouds could be a beautiful
looks very charming. I can't begin to tell you how delightfully happy I am to finally meet you at this royal... Cut the music! Uh-huh. It's okay. It's all right. I'm kind of thinking that eek isn't what Bariella would feel for the prince at this moment. No, it's what I was feeling for my feet. I was stepping on them. Huh? See, I, uh, don't, uh, I don't know how to dance. Oh, well, no problem. Hmm. Our choreographer will have you waltzing in no time. Who's that? Me. Music! <laughs> That's good, you're eek. Getting it just, yeah. Maybe not so eek. If you could just, yeah. Cut the music! I see what you mean. Another idea! Well, he's getting better, isn't he? Yeah, yeah. I've had worse students. Not many, but some. Oh! Oh! Don't worry. I'll learn it. I'll learn it. You know it's late. How about we break? Everything will mm -hmm. go better after a good night's sleep. You're right, Strawberry. Everyone's been working really hard. Let's call it a night. I'll practice my dancing in the morning. Thanks. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good Blueberry, huh? did you say he really wanted to do this? Oh, yeah. He couldn't wait. I mean, I was excited. I'm pretty sure he was, too. Why? It's just... He doesn't seem to be having a good time. I mean, this is supposed to be fun. Very best friends forever Never let each other down As long as we're together Things will always turn around Us baby girls have the courage We're not afraid to take our chance In the end, it's always worth it is this. <clears throat> Whichever one of you can bring us back the Royal Goldenberry will be awarded the kingdom. What? Royal Golden who? Uh, well, I never... Better get started. Serious? It's a long and challenging journey to find the Royal Goldenberry. <gasps> well, what are you waiting for? Go fetch me that berry. Don't listen to her. Go fetch me the berry. The berry is mine, so mine it must be. Perhaps you weren't listening, my dear daughters. You must fetch the royal golden berry yourselves. You each may bring only one berry kin in waiting with you. <sighs> oh. You! That's right, you! <coughs> Step lively, you're coming with me. Y yes, your highness. Yes, your royal highness to you, buster. Um, yep, sure thing. Anything to say, your your high royalness, royal highness? You there, let's get going! Excuse me, your royal highness. I'd be happy to help you find the royal golden berry, but you might not want me, because everyone knows <laughs> I'm the littlest berrykin. Littlest Barrican, I would be honored if you would help me. True friends last forever, forever friends stay strong. True friends go together like men. Smile our way through Nero 
what's all this? Well, I'm finishing up my winter fashions. It's very beautiful. So original. So one of a kind. Well, thanks. I've been putting my whole heart into this entire collection. <laughs> you outdo yourself every year, Raspberry. I just feel, what's the point of doing something unless it's the best? So, I'm not stopping till I get it totally, completely, absolutely right. Like you said, I really want to make something original, one of a kind, never been seen before. Well, come on, Custard and Pupcake. We better let Raspberry work. Oh, I'm having a reading tonight at the cafe. I'd really like it if you could come. Huh? Oh, oh yes, of course. Mm, I'll be there. Pupcake. <laughs> And run that way. Uh, sure. Yeah. Okay. I'll direct from outside. Uh, hey, hey, wait! Hold on! And you're off. Uh, can you try to be to your left a little? What's that? I can't. Help! <laughs> Crumbs. Friends always know what to say. Well, you know you found a friend that's real, that's true. When you see the real person in you, uh, when they see the real friendship in you, when they see the real star shine in you. Oh, I'll never find the right ending. When they hear the real music in you. That's it! Sorry, I heard you singing and, well, the words just kind of came to me. Am I ever glad they did? Thank you. It's perfect. Would it be okay if I used your words in my song? Of course. I'm Strawberry. Hi, Strawberry. This is Pupcake and Custard. Oh, so cute. And what's your name? Uh... Buttercup. Nice to meet you, Buttercup. Are you... <laughs> Do you smell cherry blossoms? Oh, um... <laughs> no, <laughs> I don't smell anything except strawberries. Uh, you were asking? Oh, uh, yes, I, I was gonna ask if you're out here alone. Uh-huh, just sort of driving through and I've always wanted to have a picnic. You've never had a picnic before? Uh, well, no. Well, I'll let you enjoy. It was nice to meet you, Buttercup. Nice meeting you, too. Thank you for your help. <laughs> sure. Come on, guys. Back to the harvest. <sighs> Just like I hoped it would be. Cheers! <laughs> Of 
the Cherry Jam Fan Club, we'd like to extend a very big welcome to you and your entire entourage. <laughs> My entourage? You know, the people who go everywhere with you and wait on you hand and foot? Well, I kind of thought it'd be fun to kind of get away and come here on my own. I don't have an entourage with me. You do now! Uh, about Strawberry. Oh, shush. We're keeping you a secret until tomorrow. Come park over here. Here she goes! Make Mary for Bitty Cherry Jam! for First Frost. <laughs> yes, here it is! It tells all about the first winter in Berry Bitty City. I bet everybody would love to hear it again. I'll read it here in the cafe and invite everyone in Berry Bitty City. Come on, you two can help! Cherry. The actual for real Cherry Jam wants me to call her by her first name? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Just try to think of me as one of you. Excuse me, but why the sleeping bag? We thought you always sleep in your fabulous tour bus when you're away from home. Not this time. I was looking forward to, you know, sleeping under the stars. Huh? You mean, like a camp out? Exactly, a camp out. Oh, do we have the perfect camping spot for you? Uh, yeah, uh, that's right. Just stay right here, uh, relax, and we'll get it all ready for you. Yeah, let's go, girls. Oh, you're gonna love it! Why did you tell her that? We can't let her camp out. You know what she's used to? Five-star luxury. Six-star. If we let her sleep in some old sleeping bag, she'll never want to come back again. So, here's the plan. Okay, do you guys remember the article? Okay, okay, yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay, yeah. Now, it's really not much. Probably not what you're used to. We hope it's comfortable enough for a star. A star of super magnitude. That means really, really big. Well, what do you think? It is really big, isn't it? Don't you want to see the inside? <laughs> of course. We copied your bedroom from your article. Bedroom of a star in very big glitz and glamour. Everything you have when you're at home has been duplicated here. Well, probably not exactly, but we did our best. <laughs> Thank you. It's... Very thoughtful of you. This is a camp out fit for a star. That's what my managers and my agents and my entourage would say. Ooh, her entourage. Well, see you in the morning. 